Hi, back with the Ian Lewis Garden Tackle Mistral Baits blog. Um, just fishing a little local lake on an industrial park near to where I live. Just a bit of fun really. Back out on an industrial park near to where I live. Just a bit of fun really. Back out on the old uh, Mistral Coconut Ice. Um, just towards the far bank there on that slight cut out in the reeds. About a rod length off there's a nice uh, silty depression. Um, which I've scattered uh, about 100 freebies with the uh, Garden of Scorpion stick and I'm going to fish two of these uh, new rigs I've, um, I'm testing at the moment over the top. It's Ian Lewis Garden Attack on Mistral Bates blog. Um, little common about £10. Oh, lively one. Just rolling back onto your arms, back up again. Nice fish caught on the coconut ice and a rig that I'm uh, currently undergoing. Oh. Development with um, it's got the old Gardner uh, Covert Mugger Continental incorporated within the rig. Cheers. Here we go again, this time with uh, Ghosty, probably about I don't know, £10 again, caught on the coconut, mineral coconut ice on the uh, same rig. Um, yeah, well chuffed. Two fish in the space of probably 20 minutes. Cheers. Yeah, some of the uh, residents. <laughs> Attack of the Canadian goose. I bet they fancy a mistral. Here comes the parents. I see if they like a mistral, shall we? Affirmative. Not only do the uh, carp love the uh, coconut ice, Canadian geese are loving it too. Here's my mate Rick um, with uh, probably 10 11 pounds common with it's definitely got ghosty in it. Uh, probably can't see the colours too well on the camera, but um, stunning fish. This one was out on an I 40 red. I 40 red. Yeah, caught in the Mr. I 40 red. So. Um, yeah, that's two a piece now. Two to the I-40 red and two to the coconut ice. Nice one. Well done, Rick. Right, it's uh, on like Donkey Kong now. Two to the uh, coconut ice, two to the I-40 red. Rick's fishing with, fishing with chods, incorporating the uh, covert chod hooks, and I'm on the uh, Continental Muggers. Fish with a slightly different uh, rig that I'm uh, playing about with. Um, as I say, all to play for, and that's uh, see what uh, last couple of hours bring. Un yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get Rick's first one because it was pouring a rain, so uh, the camera didn't get used. But um, right, hopefully, we'll uh, have some more to uh, bring back to you. Is it? Oh, 
just see it showing over the back there. Nice tidy bend in the rod. Yeah, we'll zoom in now. Oh, get out of there, get out, get out. Get out of there. <laughs> it's only about a 12-pound common. Still, what good what, what fun. Can we move that rod? No, it's right, mate, it's right. Cheers. Well done. Here we go, three to two. It's the coconut ice. Nah. Probably, I don't know, 11, maybe 12 pounds. But what a scrap. I thought it was into a really good fish, to be honest. I've honestly had 30 pounders that have uh, not scrapped as much as this. Fighting fit, I guess. Nice one. Back with the blog. This is it now. Last chance saloon. Rods turned upside down on the deck. Clutch slackened off. Everything apart from that and the net. Those in the net have been packed away now. So uh, probably another ten minutes and we'll be away. See if it'll bring one more bite.